Hello and welcome to my senior year of college room. Sorry it's a little echoey in here, but I have done a bunch of room tours. Um, you don't really care, but I really like doing room tours. I think it's fun to see all like the different rooms I have. So I did one last year for my junior year um, and this room is kind of similar, but it's like bigger a little bit. So I just thought I would do a room tour. So right now it's February. I will graduate in May. So let's just get into it. So this is the door where you walk in my room. And so I'm gonna close it. My cats are not gonna be happy. On the back of my door, this is like my poster celebrity wall. Just a bunch of posters. The hairstyle ones are kind of like crumbled because I had them last year. There's like prints of like album squares. There's a Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour poster. Um, there's one laminate from a Joshua Bassett VIP thing I went to. And then up here, there's like different posters too. And then above my door, you can see it there. I just got it at Hobby Lobby. It's like a picture of like a sunset. This is the area next to my door. We have my desk. Down here, I have a little to-do list for the week that my mom got me for Christmas. Up here, I also have a to-do thing for the week. On the one down here, I don't think you can really see it, but it looks like it's just like to plan out my week. This is like where I put my more detailed stuff. I don't know, meeting, homework, uh, I want to edit my video this day, write what I actually like things I need to do. But on this one, I write like just an overview of like plans I make for the week. So like I had a group project meeting yesterday. Today I have off work. Like I just write like simple things. This is like my desk area. I have some like fake plans. There's jewelry here and then like my makeup in the drawers because I don't have like enough room to have like a desk and a vanity so it like doubles. And then here I have like a little Sabrina shadow box from when I went to her tour. On top of it I have a little sign that my mom got me. It said I love all cats and some people. And then on this wall like over here there's a calendar. My mom makes me a little calendar every year of my pets and I. So I have that up there and then next to it there's a photo strip of Melanie and I when we went to New York. I think it was when we went to like a Harry Styles pop-up shop. Then below that there's a picture of Italia Flossie and I in New York. Below that there's a photo strip of my friends and I. We have like a production company called A2J3 Production. And then below that there's a picture of me in my friend's apartment with Bob Duncan. Fake, obviously. And then there's just some pens and like other like papers on my desk. If we go right over a little bit, we have this little three tier shelf. My grandma got me this before I moved into college, I think. There's a bunch of like fake plants on it. I don't really do well with real plants. Also, there's um, not like a window to outside in my room. So I can't really have real plants in here that would need sun anyway. And then there's this film camera. I think it's so cute. I just got it like two weeks ago. It's just like a $30 film camera. Heyday. And I haven't printed it printed anything from it, but I'll let you know how it works. And there's also this little book that my grandma got me. It says when you love a cat and the cat on it looks like my cat, so I like put it up there. And then there's just a wall mirror. I'm pretty sure I got it from just like Target freshman year maybe. I don't know. I might have got this my sophomore year. And then I got these little vines. Um, I did get them from Sheen, but I got them like three years ago and they're still going strong. I can't even lie. There were so many of them. They're super cheap. They do fall apart all the time, but like they're perfect for like little college decorations that I can just like move all the time. So they're just taped up here with like scotch tape. This is a really like low budget action, guys. So then here's my lamp that, oh. Okay, well here's my lamp. I really like it. I think it's just from Amazon. It's like called like a sunlight lamp. So it has like all different like temperatures. So it gets like warmer and cooler. Oh, that's warmer. This is cooler. We're gonna go with that. It's like by touch, it's not a button. So I keep accidentally touching it and that's my own bad. Going a little lower again, below the lamp. Sorry, the lighting is a little bad here. I don't feel like moving the lamp for this video. Um, I have these two just like little macrame hanging things of fake plants just to make it like a little homey vibe. I have this lamp, it's also from Target. I really like it, it's just like blue and white. I don't use this lamp a ton because I have this lamp and I also have like another like 
dim light that I use at night, but sometimes like when I read I'll use this. Down here I have a candle that I've had for a while. I don't know if Eliza or Flossie got it for me. It smells really good, but for some reason like I just love the aesthetic of the jar, so I haven't really like burned it. And then I have a fake plant behind it, and then this little moon shelf I really like. Again, there's a lot of fake plants in here, a fake dangling plant on the top is a New York City like glass thing of the city that I got in New York, obviously. And then I have two more fake plants. The theme is fake plants, if you can't tell. And then like nothing is above that. There's like technically a window up there that goes into my roommate's room. Moving on to my bed. My bed is like in the corner of my room, like maximize the space in here. My bed's like raised, like so it's probably like this high. Um, I have storage, but then like about like a quarter, uh, honestly like a third of like under the bed I have my cat's beds and there's like a little carpet for them because they like like to hang out under the bed if I ever have people over or like if our maintenance guy comes up like to fix our stuff um they just get nervous so that's kind of like their hideout area which I think is really cute they also like to sleep under there up here I have my I made it like my beach section I love beach decor and beach decorations so I got this mirror in Ocean City um, I got, that is actually a poster. It says Duck, North Carolina. Next to it is the Outer Banks with the coordinates of it because I love the Outer Banks. Next to that is something I got from, I think, Ocean City? Uh, no, it might be also from the Outer Banks. There's something in my eye. Under that is a poster I got at the poster fair that um, my college has. And then over there, all the way in the corner, is a ukulele that my dad painted and I just like hung it up with just like nails. And then next to that is a poster from Ikea that I still have. Um, that poster has been in all three of my apartments, which is really funny. And it's just tacked to the wall, so there's like multiple holes in it. On my bed, I just have this white comforter from, I think, Target. I have these pillowcases from Target, maybe? And then I have just these like three pillows from either like, they're either from Target, they might be from Marshalls or somewhere. And then this little giraffe stuffed animal Flossie got me. Here's my stuffed animal tour. Not that you guys care, but stuffed animal tour. Uh, this is Cinnamon. He's a giraffe. Flossie got him for me for Christmas. Me, Eliza, and Flossie got matching octopi. So this is my octopi Mako, named after Mako Island from H2O. This is my childhood stuffed animal straddle we love straddle and this is i got it because it looks just like ollie this is mini ollie looks like my cat oh speaking of, here look i'll show you the resemblance here's big ollie with mini ollie do you guys see the resemblance here so then this is the other wall above my bed um i have these two shelves that i got from ikea on this one there's um fake plants a little clock like one of them is out of a coke bottle my fake plants are all really random um, one of them's from Ikea, one of them my friend Kayla got me, um, there's like little vases that my mom got me, I think. And then there's a mirror above that from Hobby Lobby, and then on this one, it's kind of like my, um, parents' wall. I have two old Polaroids, there's one of my mom and I, and then one of my dad, and I just put them in those like square frames, and I think it looks so cute. There's a vase, the flowers fell off because Leo always knocks things over. There's also a little like frame there and it says I love you to the moon. My mom got me that for Christmas. I actually got two of them because Flossie got me one too because I said I really liked it. One's here, one's at home. Um, there's some candles up here that I, do I don't like light them up there obviously because it's like next to the wood. Um, but they're just like decorative. I like switch out my candles all the time. And then this is a light up jar. And there's a coaster. It says, you are my sunshine. I just used command strips to hang that up. And then up there is a painting of a cactus that my dad painted. This is a little pressed flower thing that Flossie got me. There's just like wooden shelves up here, I think. They also might be from Ikea. And I taped a vine to the bottom of this one just for added aesthetic, I guess. Um, there's little easels with mini paintings that like we shrunk of my dad's. So they're up there. There's more fake plants. There's these jars with like, I filled them with like blue glass. I don't know. I just think they're like a cute decoration. So then right here is my mini shelf and I have a collection of glass animals. My mom always buys them for me. Like if I see them at the beach or if she sees them or sometimes I see them at like Christmas markets. They're usually at like smaller markets. Um, and so I collect different like animals. There's also some from when I was little like plastic ones that are up here And it's just like a collection of my glass animals. This um, I actually got from my job 
a while ago. It says advice from a sunflower, be bright, sunny, and positive, spread seeds of happiness, rise, shine, and hold your head high. And I just thought it was really cute, so I hung it out. There's a candle. I never light it, I think, because I like it too much. It smells like my childhood, I think. Like, I don't even know what it is. It just smells so good. I, like, never light it because it makes me, like, I love it too much. I never want this candle to leave. <laughs> and then there's another fake plant up there. But this is, like, the other corner of my room in front of my bed. There's not much, like, here's my bed. Here's the wall. There's, like, not much room this way. We have this moon. I turn it on at night because there is a window in between me and my roommate Italia's room. If I have my light on, her light is basically on or like vice versa and I stay up later than her. So at night I just like turn this on because it's like away from her room and her room doesn't get too bright. Just for fun in case you were wondering. I have a guitar down here that's definitely not tuned. That's really bad. I used to play the guitar and I brought one to school and sometimes I want to play it. Like I should get that up. It's a fun little activity. And then here this says love you to the moon and back. My mom got it for me. My mom also got this coaster for me. It says, you're my sunshine. It kind of is like the other one, but I think it's like such a cute little theme. This is like my good night theme. Like it's just a little like cute area. My friend Melanie got me these. This one says Leo and there's another one over here that I'll show you. It says Ollie. Down here is my record player. I have an Olivia Rodrigo picture disc on it right now. And below it is a basket of more vinyls and then like um, a power strip. And then there's this little organizer that I actually just have an extra of. This is dangerous. It's like sitting on the edge of my shelf, but if it falls, it'll fall on the bed. So here is right next to that. My record player is down here. This says you make me happy when skies are gray. Also from my mom, I love this one. Um, and then this one says sweet dreams, sleep tight, we love you, good night. I just have like a collection of these over here. They're from my mom. And I like love this area of my room. Like I think it's like so cute, so cozy. Um, and then here's my Ollie laying in the moon. This door um, is a closet that I have. I won't open that because you don't care what's in there. I did the vines around this closet too, just to make it like fun. I try to make my room really like heavily decorated. I'm here in the winter mostly, obviously because you're at school during the winter, not the summer here at least. So I try to make it like all like warm themed to remind me of like summer and stuff. So this is all like, it's a lot of pictures from mostly summer or just pictures that have like bright colors in them. I tried to make it a gradient. So it goes from up here is like whiter and then down there is like dark blue. Next area of my room, this is my TV. I've had it all three years. I say three years because my first year of college, my freshman year was 2020. So I actually didn't like come on campus because classes were online. Some of it I think I got freshman year to like prepare to live in a dorm and then I didn't live in a dorm. Anyway, I have this dresser I got from Ikea again, sophomore year. Um, this candle's from my mom. This one's from Eliza. I light these two like all the time, like at night when I read and stuff. Um, I have some random papers here, some coins. This penguin, super cute. My dad made it. There he is. I think he got it. There's my cup of water. Um, here are two little moon ring dishes that I have. Um, and one of them is my rings. And then this one, my friend Caroline got me this from a vintage store. It's a cat drinking a like spill bucket of milk. It's also a glass animal. I think it's really cute. This is a salt lamp. Okay, so then this is my other closet door. I have two closets. This one, I actually put my cat's litter box in and it doesn't smell in here because I clean it all the time. Weird thing I'm passionate about, like if you're in college and you have cats, clean the litter box. I've been to so many apartments in college at least that they like do not clean their cat's litter box and like that's just not good that's my ted talk on that um but anyway so then there's vines around this door too there's like this wall of extra pictures that i have i just put like colored washi tape around i didn't ever finish anyway in this corner um i have a hug that looks like a cat i got it in the outer banks north carolina um, and then I have a bunch of tote bags hanging on it and just regular bags like so I can just grab one when I go. Down here on the ground is my cat's toy bin and then they also have like a scratcher and like a ball turner thing. Their toys are like kept in this corner. But usually I wake up and they're all over my room because they love to play with them. Over here is a mini like bookshelf I got. I guess I didn't leave room but I didn't want to get like a giant bookshelf or anything. So I just like grabbed this from Hobby Lobby. There's books on there. I'm currently reading Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. No, I'm reading High and Flame. I read Fourth Wing. 
anyway, then there's like this little cat thing my grandma got me with like a cat and books and a mouse and inside of it is an angel. There's another vase with fake flowers and then there is also a room spray that I keep on this shelf because the cat's litter box is there. I obviously don't spray it in their litter box, don't worry. But I like spray this beach flavored room for spray in this like area a lot. Like after I clean the litter box or something just to like freshen it. Cause I don't know. I also have an air freshener. I'm very serious about my room smelling good. I have a clock. This clock is actually, I think it's this clock or maybe it was a pillow. So like I either got, it was either this clock or a pillow that I don't have anymore. Um, that I built my entire room color scheme around. It's not even really a color scheme. It's green, blue, yellow, wood, and white. There's like my family Polaroid wall. I have my grandparents on there from my mom's side. Um, my brother, dog, and I. I have a picture of my dad, mom, brother, and I. Picture of my brother and I. Picture of Scooter. Picture of me and my mom. And a picture of Leah or Oliver. Um, I actually need to add one of Leo, but these are all actually super outdated because I haven't changed them out since my sophomore year. And then there is this like vinyl clock that I really should put on better, but it's a vinyl clock. One of the cutout ones, I got it at the Dilworth Park, like small market business. Not like this past Christmas, but the Christmas before that. Just a Philly and I thought it was really cute. That is my room. Hope you guys liked it. Sorry this room tour was a little like all over the place, but I really hope you liked it. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, comment down below and let me know what you think, and that is all.